We have Amanda. Amanda isn't someone who liked to try things different before. But over the last few months, she has gone past her comfort zone many, many times and has grown more and more confident. So everybody, please join me in welcoming Amanda. Yay! <laughs> Go, Amanda! Thank you, Arush, and uh, hello to everybody here in the meeting today. And so this, present this speech is my story speech. People say that practice makes perfect, so how come I never get any better at waking up in the morning? This thought ran in my head one morning in the summer of 2018. Ever since I had arrived in China for my summer vacation, my dad wouldn't stop dragging me to for his um, morning book exercise. <laughs> How was this a vacation? I thought to myself every time he woke me up. I got dressed and hopped down the stairs. My dad was already waiting for me, and we had just recently bought a bike, and I was going to ride it when my dad ran behind me. It sounds pretty intense, but my dad was used to running every morning. I didn't know the streets very well, and I had to rely on my dad telling me where to go. Arriving at the park was easy, as I had sharpened my riding skills prior, and I had begun to remember the route to the park. So I thought I could ride a little bit further in front of my dad on the way. But turns out, that was a terrible mistake. I rode ahead when my dad followed. My dad didn't show anything from behind me, so I just kept on biking onwards. Turning a corner, I came up to an intersection. A very busy one. Wait a minute, I didn't remember this area. I stopped my bike, thinking I just probably had a brain fart, and decided to wait for my dad. A minute passed. Wow, he's slow, I thought. Then two minutes, three, and maybe even four. At this point, I started to get nervous and decided to get off my bike and lock it up safe. I walked back to the street I biked past and saw no one. This is when my stomach started to sink. I walked back and forth between the streets trying to tell myself that I was lost. But eventually, I gave up. I was lost. What am I supposed to do now? I didn't have a phone on me and I couldn't just wait there. It could be winter by the time they found me. It also didn't help that I was crying in the middle of the road at 6 a.m. I finally mustered up enough courage and began walking towards the middle-aged lady sleeping in the road. The reason why I chose her? I don't know. My grade 5 self thought that she's not kind. I asked her if I could borrow her phone to call my dad. And she agreed. I was so glad that I remembered my dad's phone number that day. I called and he quickly picked up. I could feel his relief and asked, asked where I was. I had no idea, but the lady told me where I was. I stayed by the lady the whole time, thanking her. At last, I saw my dad's car pull up and park on the side of the road. I bid my farewells to the lady and carried the bike to the back of the car, sitting comfortably at last. I had to tell my dad the whole experience I went through, and thinking back now, it's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. I remember my mom calling my dad, and I picked up the phone thinking she would be mad, but she was relieved that I was safe. This is one of those stories that I get randomly mentioned at a dinner table, but honestly, I have a lot of those stories. <laughs> this one is just a little less embarrassing. Now that I have a phone, I'm positive that I won't get lost like that ever again. But if you want to ensure, next time just don't drag me along with your morning exercise. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Arush. Fantastic, Amanda. I just want to tell you, because I'm not sure that you understand, and I want to make sure that you do, that you have improved significantly just in the time that we worked together. Your expressiveness is more natural. Your volume is greater. Uh, you, you, you're using your hands very naturally when you speak, which is great. Um... Your voice modulation is good. There's a lot of pitch change and tone change, and it works. And you've got a smile on your face the whole time you're telling this speech, which just gives the audience permission to enjoy themselves more, too. You took direction from me very well all year. When I gave you suggestions, you incorporated them. I think your biggest challenge, Amanda, is... And this will come with time. 
is uh, w watching how much information you give. When speaking and writing are very different. So when you're writing, you almost have to write the way you speak. You have to write a little more conversationally, especially when you're telling a story and just edit, edit, edit like crazy. Every, anything that's not adding to the story, take it out. Uh, anything that's repeated, take it out, unless it's a deliberate repeat uh, of something that you want to emphasize. So uh, I think that you don't have this problem as much when you do impromptu speaking, when you did the super short speeches. So uh, this is more, more about your writing than your speaking. Uh, I think your speaking is coming along really well and you're just going to get better. I'm so glad I got to work with you this year. It's an absolute pleasure. You have a really good sense of humor that I think we should develop more and we're going to. And I'm looking forward to seeing you back in September again. Congratulations on a successful term. Well done.